Hello and welcome to Modern Toy Fair News, the weekly show that talks about toys. I am your host, Mr. Modern Toy Fair, and I am joined by the founder of the NECA Illuminati, the YouTube wife, Mrs. Modern Toy Fair, the one, the only, Jamar underscore games. How are you this week, Jamar? I'm doing pretty great, man. We had a, I, I guess we could talk about this. We had a really fun stream for our first mm-hmm. uh, Wednesday show and tell wednesday wednesday night weekly purchases there we go wednesday night weekly purchases sounds so much better than wednesday show and tell but yeah that was really fun so if you guys missed out on the stream you missed out on a really fun time but yeah i'm in good mood how about yourself i'm, I'm in pretty good mood too hopefully that had enough pizzazz to for you since you and nate decided that uh my yeah, twitch it's... stream pizzazz for the opener is a lot stronger than for the news <laughs> so i wanted to turn it up yeah, a notch for nice. you <laughs> i appreciate that to get the context well they can't watch it because it's gone right i don't know i don't know how twitch works i see people's old twitch streams go up in their like video section so you can rewatch them is that automatic yeah. or is that something i was supposed to do because i don't fucking know i guess we'll find out <laughs> let us know in the comments <laughs> <Yeah>. below <laughs> uh luckily modern toy fair news is slightly less of a dumpster fire than the weekly purchases on wednesday nights so this is how it's gonna work if you are new to the show we're gonna break down the top five toy news stories for you and then send you on your merry way and hope that you come back next week so we are going to start off this week the same way we have done pretty much forever at this point and that is with some mcfarlane news McFarlane had a ton of figures revealed this week via Diamond Previews order catalog. For the DC Multiverse line, we have the Hal Jordan Green Lantern versus Green Lantern of Earth 32 two pack. We've got the White Knight Batman Bat Cycle. We've got the Dark Knight Returns Armored Batman. We've got the Dark Knight's Death Metal, Shazam the Infected. We've got Etrigan the Demon from Demon Knights. We've got the McFarlane version of Wonder Woman. And then for Spawn, we've got the Mortal Kombat 11. I'm going to butcher this because I don't know how it male fic Spawn. I'm not sure how it's supposed to be said, but it's obviously a skin from Mortal Kombat. And... (laughs) Then we've got the Clown from the Spawn Universe set, followed by the 12-inch Violator. Then there is Redeemer Spawn and the Raven Spawn. But that is not all. They also showed off official images of the Spawn Universe wave in its entirety, including the GameStop exclusive Gunslinger spawn. So quite a bit to unpack this week for McFarland compared to the past several weeks. I I'm going to, I'm oddly enough. I'm going to start with the spawn stuff. Just this okay. picture here with all of them there on the rooftops looks so mm-hmm. fucking cool. And it's almost selling me on like, do I need spawn figures? <laughs> yeah. It's like, there's a, there's a whole, line of amazing things that we could possibly be having on our shelves and we're missing out you know I, i'm really excited for the gunslinger one for sure and that could be enough to tip me into getting like at least like the violator and the clown like you know or mm-hmm. maybe just the clown i don't know we'll see how it goes but um i'm really digging it yeah it, it were ju- these respawn figures always so cool and we just were missing it recently i don't know maybe it was just <laughs> my my prejudice against figures that didn't have articulation and were borderline statues so like now that they yeah. actually have articulation i'm like wow these are actually kind of cool <laughs> yeah it's really tickling that and i'm trying to dig deep into my nostalgia bank and seeing like what spawn toys did i have when i was a kid <laughs> i have an easy answer for that for me none <laughs> I do remember like having, you know, a spawn figure or something like that. Or maybe it wasn't mine and I got it from like my cousin or something like that. Mm-hmm. Cuz it spawn wasn't necessarily for kids. You know? Not not so, really at all. Um Not a, yeah, not at murderous all. Murderous hell spawn with a bunch of demons and other <laughs> shit. Generally not the the children's toy that mom's looking to right, buy. Right. Uh I do want to specify pre-orders are not open yet for most of the wave i believe gamestop had pre-orders open but i don't know if they still are however they are expected to ship i believe in august was what uh previews and that's for everything the dc and the spawn oh. stuff um 
but it, it, speaking of the DC stuff, well, I guess before we go to DC, I do want to just mention how funny the statement 12 inch violator <laughs> is like, <laughs> I, I'm sitting there and I, I'm, I'm putting that in the notes and I'm like, yeah, that just sounds like a sex toy. <laughs> yeah. 12 like, inch violator definitely is a mouthful. Yeah. I'm just imagining Todd sitting there really? at a, at a meeting and he's just like, look at this. That's the 12 inch violator. And everyone sitting at that, that table is just like snickering to themselves. Like, does he, does he not realize what he's saying? Like, I mean, you got to imagine the meeting probably was, uh, quite a few adults in the room. So maybe, maybe not a snicker. Um, also, you just totally just right over my joke about the 12 inch violator being a mouthful. <laughs> yeah. I did, <laughs> did not catch that. <laughs> That's my bad. The, my 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 terrible neighbors and their trashy giant truck went off, and I'm just like, oh great, that's probably gonna pick up on the mic, so it distracted me for a second, and I completely missed the the punchline there. That's my bad. Yeah, I didn't hear it. I didn't hear it on this side. Well, so. let's hope that the recording that didn't hear much. it. Either. Yeah. <laughs> uh, but yeah, Wait. I mean, go ahead. No, I was gonna say you you mentioned going to the DC, so I'm curious. Oh yeah, so out of like this, that just really got you. I'm oh, assuming oh. Dark Knight maybe uh, surprisingly no i actually am oh, okay. excited for the white knight bat cycle um mm. well correction curse of the white knight bat cycle um i we, we talked about this being leaked like through order forms overseas a while back and i was excited for it i'm, I'm on the fence looking at this because i mean the picture obviously isn't it's it's you know a scan that someone took from the catalog so it's not perfect i mean grant it's pretty high res i'm hoping that it looks better in person because right in the picture we have right now it looks a little too much like a toy okay i can i I can get what you're saying like i I understand it most people would probably be like what do you mean it is a toy yeah but yeah i get Um, what you mean like Like, you go from yeah if you go from the collectible that we got with the bat cycle from death metal where yeah. it like has these great textures and paint apps and then you go to this and it's just got big old chunks of plastic and i'm like really flat, you, you, could, yeah. you couldn't have added some shading or some weathering or anything to break that up like that's just a big ass gray plastic panel yeah. and it's 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 not doing it for me so i'm really hoping it looks better in person i mean i'll probably get it regardless cause if nothing else you can always improve what they yeah. uh, messed up so i'll have to see we'll see here in august when it comes out um you, you did mention the dark knight returns armored batman yeah, honestly they, they they're a little late to the late, late to the train station on that one for me because we've got we've got mofex that has one that looks incredible sure and even then this one looks like a cross between the comic version and the ben affleck version like i don't know why they thought they need to go with like a metallic silver for the armor uh, I see. yeah because like the artwork isn't in, in, in any way ever showing that kind of stuff, so it, it realistically should have just been a, like a a darker gray than what his tights are or something. Like, right, that's fair. I actually didn't catch that that it was kind of metallic. I guess going through it initially, but yeah, I can kind of see what you're saying. Which it, it doesn't surprise me because that's that's it's McFarlane. That, that's kind of a thing yeah, that he's got those little he on it. He, he likes to to make things look cool and realistic and, and stuff and it's like it doesn't always land um speaking of that i'm assuming wonder woman. yeah i was gonna say are we going to wonder woman <laughs> yeah. uh, yeah. it's definitely not what i expected when we heard about the todd mcfarlane inspired wonder woman yeah <laughs> i mean i'm not I'm, I'm not definitely saying i don't like it it's really different and kind of like obviously McFarlane eyes oh, yeah. like, for sure like spiky horns and whatnot um I mean if I yeah, didn't know I any better like I would have thought this was from the death metal comic oh yeah like that's just... I mean legitimately if you didn't say this was Wonder Woman I'd be like oh there's a a, a lady in spawn like <laughs> that's kind of like vibe I get from yeah it. or even you know what Warhammer it kind of just gives oh, me like yeah. I don't know it just gives you like a different vibe from I, th- I think it's the big ass sword that. Yeah, that. But I I, le- I love the design on the shield having the W's mm-hmm. like being like the the split in the middle. It's it's kind of cool, but it's also very jarring. 
is what I would say. Yeah, that's what I, I'll say. It's just, I don't I don't dislike it. It's just jarring to see something so different. I, I'm honestly I'm just impressed that it's not BDSM Wonder Woman at this point because that that, like after seeing the last batman that had all the spikes and the straps and stuff that he did yeah i was terrified of what he was going to do to wonder woman but he actually like it's 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 pretty good and he definitely showed her some respect she has pants for fuck's sake i was not expecting that that's what i was just gonna call out because you you mentioned the the, the, all the straps and all that good stuff but um yeah she's like fully clothed yeah you know and not like you know, it was gonna be a creep, but most Wonder Woman's are really yeah, high sk- shirt or skirt, skirt, no, skirts is with shorts in it. Yeah, skirt, whatever. I don't know. I don't wear woman clothing. Sorry, <laughs> <laughs> but yeah. And then you have like the armor chest plate, and sometimes it's really small and whatnot. But yeah, it's he went with a different approach, and I think it kind of works. Yeah, good for him because every every other toy that I think I've seen made of her, there's only been one that actually did. I think it was new. F- was it new 52 when she like wore like the full like suit with the pants and everything instead of having the skirt um for like the first time ever and Mm -hmm. they did dc direct slash dc collectibles did one figure from that but there's maybe one or two others that like are like that all the other ones are always in her her short like thigh length skirt and her her very skimpy top with no armor or anything but hey that he knocked it out of the park above Yeah. yeah Like she, so, yeah, it's just cool. that that's the most practical like female RPG armor I've ever seen. <laughs> yeah, that's that's like, that's instantly see... what that makes me think. It's like, man, that's what that's what should be in Skyrim instead of you know <laughs> yeah. the entire midriff area being exposed. Like, oh, yeah, it's level one hundred armor and it's just like covering just her boobs. <laughs> yeah, like, I don't know how that. Yeah, defense is a hundred on that. That's weird. <laughs> uh, but but the only thing that I will say that if I have to pick out some negative, which I don't. But it kind of seems like her like shin armor plates look like they're not painted. Is, is that? Um, I know it's. I get like where you're coming from. They the they color. look very much like they're just one color. I can't yeah. tell if it's the lighting because you you can see like on her I guess it would be her right leg on our left side. Um, mm-hmm. You can see a lot of that detail in the sculpt. Yeah. So I have to assume that there's either a wash or it's an, the sculpt is like defined enough that in the right lighting it will like look really good for sure yeah i would like to see just a little bit more gold in that or something but, uh, oh i see what again you're saying, this yeah. i'm judging this just off of like this scan from catalog mm-hmm. i can't wait to see like actual in hand or oh even even watch. just the the pictures when he officially posts them like the the hd like full like res pictures that we occasionally get um mm-hmm. i can't wait just to see those because even in these yeah. some of these figures look absolutely incredible like for instance uh etrigan i I, I'm not a fan of yeah. this version of him, like in full armor, but it still looks really badass, and I might get it anyway, just because there's not there's not enough Etrigan figures. Like, I, I get that he's not like a, a super popular character, but he's popular. He's just as popular as like Constantine is, and Constantine gets figures from time to time. So, it's yeah. it's kind of sad that he doesn't get the love he deserves. You saying that and me looking at this photo, he kind of looks a little sad. Right? He's just like, <laughs> like mm, Etrigan <laughs> get no toy. <laughs> but yeah, I, that's something that we can legitimately say throughout all of these. We could just could like burn us in the back and be like, ah, these are these actually turned out to be awful, but they all look legitimately good. Like, yeah. I, so. I mean, unfortunately, that's 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 the McFarland mo. Is it's gonna show up yeah. and it's either gonna be it's either gonna be great or it's gonna be fucking terrible. <laughs> There's really no in between with McFarland toys, true. so <laughs> let's let's hope that it, it that most of them come out on the great end. Yeah. Uh, I, I'm trying to think. I mean, I will say the Mortal Kombat spawn. That's a badass oh, yeah. looking fucking spawn. Oh yeah. Which, so I have Mortal Kombat 11, and it's all this confusion with like the, the DLC packs and mm-hmm. stuff like that. So I have no clue on what I can get for free or what I can't get. Um. That would be really cool to see in motion, like in game, right. just the way this looks, because it looks badass, just sitting still, like as a figure. I feel like that would be a really dope skin to see, like the shiny metal, you know, mm-hmm. on it. That looks pretty cool. I'm not gonna lie, if I if I were to decide to get, like the the 12 inch violator or the clown or one of the the other figures, I think this would be the spawn I'd get to fight it. Like, 
I, I, I don't I don't want the Redeemer or the Raven. Gunslinger's kind of cool looking, but this one just looks fucking badass. Like, especially with those energy, like, blades. Yeah. Like it, so I... That's what it is. It's the accessories. It's mm-hmm. the the energy blades that got you, right? Probably. I mean, I like the overall design. Like, no, I like the, the yeah, red yeah. and the silver for his chest instead of it just usually mm-hmm. being, like, one or the other. Um, and I like the, like, it just looks kind of like a medieval spawn, I guess. And I also like the how the silver on his face kind of is taking up more instead of it just being the eyes kind of thing. Just the eyes. Yeah. I definitely do dig it, but can't I can't give up Gunslinger. It was love at first sight. <laughs> as soon as I saw that, I'm like, please give that to me. <laughs> I, I I can't I can't blame you at all on that one. Um, <laughs> uh, but we're we're gonna move on be, at this point. Yeah. I, I can't really think of much more to say for McFarland. They 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 may have stole the show, but we'll, we'll maybe oh. not. We'll we'll get we'll get to <laughs> some pretty awesome things here in a bit. Um, meanwhile, over at Playmates. They're making news this week with some surprisingly interesting turtle leaks via, you guessed it, overseas retailers. Um, first, we got to, to see two out of the four of the new two pack figures, uh, including Leonardo versus Rocksteady, and then Michelangelo versus Bebop. But that's not all we got. We also got to see the upcoming reissue of the original party wagon and it includes full on like 80s box like it looks like you just picked it up at toys r us 30 years ago it 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 really looks cool uh as of right now no pre-orders in the u.s however the australian site pop culture uh, has the party wagon listed for july and the two packs listed for august Another thing I do want to bring up is for the two packs, it was listed and is also listed on the back that we're, we're still going to get Donnie and Raph, but they're going to come with the Triceraton and Shredder. Shredder had a prototype at one point for this version of the line. Triceraton didn't, so I'm very curious to see how these these look when we actually get to see all four two packs. Yeah, this... I mean, if you've watched any of the episodes, you know I give Playmate a lot of shit. And initially, I saw these, and I was like, here we go. Re-release, re-release, re-release. Um, but for the two packs, I thought it was interesting, like you said, to see the Shredder, the Triceraton. And partly just because, I mean, I already have all of these, you know, mm-hmm. about five, six years ago. Um, but that would be cool to kind of have something new. Mm-hmm. The only downside is it has to be turtles. So I just wish that maybe if it was like a re-release, put those two together. But that would make sense because of the way this pack is positioned. So the likely uh, idea that should have happened was just maybe update the turtles in some way. You know? Yeah, so I, I, I I kind of agree. Ones, but... I, I will say I'm I'm like sixty percent sure they're at least slightly. Maybe that's the turtles, but I feel like Bebop. I feel like that figure, he was a little more orange in the original, wasn't he? I don't... I, I'm i almost positive he's about the same. Like, just looking at it, again, mm. you make the joke that boxes are my, my <laughs> biggest enemy or my biggest weakness, but, like, I would love to, like, open up. I have these all in, like, my loose figure boxes, but um, I'm almost positive that's the exact same thing i mean it very much could be i i haven't seen like yeah. uh, last time i saw this figure was at a collectible shop back in ohio that had it for like a hundred dollars because they hadn't been on the market in like three or four years or some crazy oh shit um so it's been a, it's been a long time since i've seen these yeah. figures uh i i do i do want to say like as cool as it is that they made like full on i think they're like six inches tall and fully articulated mm-hmm. figures they still don't look great no, they, they really don't. And at the time of release, when these first came out, I kind of jumped on them. They had a the cool packaging, too. like mm-hmm. So that was part of it. Like, it had the... Almost they had, yeah, they had the bubble like kinda... card. on. Yeah. And I, and that was cool. And I did end up opening them. And I, the, the articulation's not bad. Joints are pretty awful. And these, I don't know if they updated those or not, but you put the arm up and it just kind of, like, go down. So it, it wasn't the greatest, the greatest figure at all to pose. But at that time, I was just thirsty for new turtle stuff. Yeah. The one thing that we, 
like I would sit highly recommend is getting rid of the eyes because I just <laughs> recall getting some figures with some very wandering eyes. On, oh my uh, god, it's just like mine. NECA. <laughs> no, it was it was worse it was significantly worse dude. that's impressive my donnie had one facing this way and like looking up to the left it was bad but nothing a little bit of uh white out or whatever you want to use white paint just makes the figures look you know that much better um so i mean this is cool it's still a cool idea that they're doing this i'm just wondering at a point like when are we getting something slightly new but i'm not going to give them too much shit about this just because of the other thing that they announced. I mean, I have to assume when the something new will be when we get the Cobra Kai two packs. That's fair. That's Grant, fair. it's probably just going to be those turtles with like <laughs> be, new figures for the Cobra soft, Kai. No, it'll be a soft goods uh, like Gio. <laughs> I'm not going to lie. That'd be kind of cool. <laughs> it'll be super oversized. Oh, uh, yeah. So. It'll look like a, like a garbage man jumpsuit. <laughs> um, and I uh, assume the other thing you were mentioning was the party wagon. Yeah, like, I'm, like, actually kind of excited about this. Just because, like, I still have my party wagon mm -hmm. uh, on the shelf, and a lot of parts of it doesn't work because, you know, it's really old. So it would be cool to have a new one, but I would think the main reason I would want this is just to get it and just have it, like, leave it in a box sort of thing. And I'm not yeah. the inbox guy, but this just the artwork about it's just so cool. Like, yeah, that, that that very much like original '80s artwork that they managed to pull off yeah. just looks so cool. Um, again, it, it it just looks like I've I've walked in the Toys R Us 30 years ago, and it's just right. on the shelf, and it it makes me feel all warm and fuzzy inside. But then I think about it, and I'm like, these motherfuckers are gonna ask for 200 bucks for this bitch. I bet. I'm not going no higher than like a, a good price. This is not realistic. Forty nine ninety nine. Ah, I don't see it being less than eighty bucks. Eighty bucks is the bare minimum. I think they'll go. Sixty nine ninety nine. <laughs> <laughs> just just because it's sixty nine. <laughs> but no, yeah, I mean, it's just the the artwork and seeing like the turtles. It just reminds me of being like, oh, I want that. And then I'm like, nah, you can't get it. I'm not spending as much money on you. And then if you get it, you find out you got it for Christmas. You know, like that's just that's awesome. Yeah. Well, that's what it gives me the good feels and i kind of i want that box i should probably just print out the artwork if it's gonna be just, just, i mean yeah if it's a hundred dollars you could go get a poster of it made at like kinko's <laughs> for that price like don't right, waste your money right. there oh jeez. i'll take um, what i can get yeah so <laughs> i'm curious to see what they end up charging just just with the fact that like the last like multi-pack they did they had the nerve to take figures from 30 or 20 or 30 years ago and re-release them for essentially like $25 each or $20 each um, in a six pack was, was absurd to me, but cause I don't think they were that much in stores when they no, had I was, them re-released the first even time. If, oh, the first re-release. I'm talking about right. like, yeah, when they still, when playing still had a presence in stores where yeah, they had like, right. yeah, or no, even that, like they, they, you for a while they still had stuff in walmarts and occasionally targets yeah, that's true. like that's shortly true. after the 2012 like ended they had like a little window there where they were re-releasing things before they started doing oh, rise yeah oh i know but i mean yeah those were like i want to say maybe probably like 15 like 14.99 or 12.99 like something around there so it definitely wasn't 20 bucks to 25 dollars mm -hmm. it's just you know it's so crazy it's it's just the magic of turtles in general that they could still be charging this just $25 for the mode that they've had forever. Now at this point, it's probably no cost to them to make these figures because they have been making the mode so long. Like, oh yeah. They, 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 they probably, works, they probably but... make so, so like much more because the molds already there that they don't have to pay any sculptors oh, yeah. or anything. So they yeah. probably went from like a 50% profit margin to probably like 75% profit margin or something like that. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know how toy sculpting and all that jazz works. Not at all. And if I try to pretend like I do, Randy will call us out on Twitter and, and tell us that we're we're dumb, and that we <laughs> we shouldn't have opinions about things. Uh, <laughs> moving Always on, gets though. Back to Randy. Always gets back to Randy. <laughs> Always. Uh, Always. Um, <laughs> Mezco put up pre-orders for their exclusive 112 collective Solomon Kane. Solomon is available until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, May 28th, 
for $90 shipping between February and April of 2022. He includes his black duster coat, his staff, interchangeable hands, several knives, two swords, two different pistols, a torch with swappable flame effect, a display stand, and what I'm pretty sure is the first time ever, the ability to swap out his face and hair combinations to make it essentially how if you want angry with like flowing hair or angry with flat hair, it, it kind of sky's the limit. Um, as I said, pre-orders are still up until 1 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, May 28th. That's going to be Friday. So if you're watching this and it's before it's after 1 p.m., sorry you missed out, but hop on that wait list because Mez has said that for things that are pre-orders that are like further out, the more things they get on the wait list the more likely they are to order more to try to fulfill some of those orders as well. That's pretty cool. How exciting is this to see, like, first of its kind kind of thing for the figure? Like, with the swappable heads and... Or not heads, but like you said, face Yeah, the, the face and hair. Because, like, that's that's essentially what, like, Figmas and, like, Tamashi Nations and, and all oh, those yeah. do. Um, I'm not sure no, I that's feel what about I mean, it. like, with, like, getting that from Mezca. Mm-hmm. I'm not sure how I feel about it because I the application is very limited. Like, there's only characters who have like you couldn't do it with Batman because he's got a mask on, yeah, like a full on helmeted mask. And right. Superman would be hard to hide the seams because he has such short hair. So, mm-hmm. like, maybe you'd be able to do it with like characters like Wonder Woman or other characters that have long hair that I can't think of. <laughs> Um, I was like, oh no, who else has long hair? <laughs> yeah, I, I literally was like, I, I mean, there's ways they could do it. Like if they do a full faceplate that like includes ears and everything, they can they can do it. They can they can make it work. Um, it's just one of those things where Mezco's quality is very touch and go. Some things turn out and they're incredible. They're perfect. I wouldn't change them. Other things come out and it's like, ooh, that's that's a little rough. Um, still got it though, yeah. but it's a little rough. Um, so I guess maybe, maybe once I see it on a character I'm actually interested in, cause I'm not gonna lie. I had to ask Jake who the fuck this was. Cause I, I, okay. Yes. Thank you. I yeah. had to look it up. I said, who is Solomon Kane? Yeah. And then it was a movie from 2009. I thought it was going to be something from like 1968. So, so, or so <laughs> it's, it's supposed to be a movie based off a comic which came uh-huh. out back when like the phantom and all those characters were like a thing. Oh god. So it is an old thing. It's just this version is from the movie. Um, yeah. I I mean some of his accessories so recent. Yeah. yeah. Some of his accessories are really cool like the torch with the mm. swappable flame effect, the swords look really badass. Really cool. I yeah. just I I like I don't fuck I've never seen the movie, never even heard of the comic book. I have no idea who this motherfucker is. <laughs> So I, I'm not gonna. I'm glad I'm not the only one. Th- this may be the first exclusive they've done in a while where I chose not to get it. It wasn't like a situation where I couldn't. You couldn't. Um, yeah. And, and nothing against the figure. It looks fucking cool. The 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 badass like duster like black leather coat. Uh, even the pistols like the design work on them looks really cool. Yeah. I, I just, I mean, I guess I, he could sub in as like Van Helsing if you're a fan of of like that kind of, of stuff and you don't know who this is but you don't want to wait for mezco to get around to van helsing <laughs> i mean yeah I, yeah cool that's yeah. all I can say. it looks cool but that's <laughs> really yeah that's cool. where i'm at is that's literally <laughs> that's our go-to we're like yeah we don't really have any connection to the property and <laughs> i don't want to offend anybody so yeah it looks cool yeah i mean i i guarantee, I guarantee uh, there are people out there who are super excited for this i'm just oh, yeah, that one of them mind. and i feel like that's why this was a perfect exclusive figure and not a hey let's go and try to do this as a regular release because even if there's maybe a third of the normal order capacity in that 48 hour window there's no issues of it selling out too early or it not selling out and then being like oh this is a bad choice Mm -hmm. it's like whoever wants it wants it and like gets a chance to get it in that 42 or 48 hours I do feel like that's not a very long window, especially for something that's coming out almost a year from now. Probably longer because Mezco is just like Moffex and they get delayed nonstop. Yeah. Um, so I feel I feel like they should have done maybe even the NECA model, do like a week 
but that's fair. What, what do I know? I guess my only thing to that, my only retort is that if this is some like a character that's coming out, if you're a fan of it, I would imagine you kind of would be have your antennas up if it was something you were looking for. Mm-hmm. Um, I know that's probably like kind of hard to say, but I would imagine you're like, okay, this is I'm in the subreddit for Solomon Kane, or something, you know what I mean? Yeah you would know and then it also gives it that idea of like all right it hasn't sold that well but it's only 48 hours so it doesn't look you know too crazy or too desperate i mean i mean granted they all the this one and the last exclusive that was a 48 hour thing uh the was it the gotham by gaslight batman both of those they didn't specify the 40 hours until the next day and i'm just like for the first 24 hours it looks like it's just not (laughs) selling well and then they're like by the way you have till 1 p.m tomorrow to to pre-order and it's (laughs) like oh crap I'm like, oh, okay. Um, so yeah, they haven't been doing a very good job of like telling people up front that they have two days to do it. Um, I just yeah. feel like even even on releases of characters like the Gotham by Gaslight Batman, there's still people who I see in the groups who are like, oh man, that went up. I didn't see it. I'm like, you're in a Facebook group for Mezco. You probably yeah, follow them on, on Instagram, Facebook, and or Twitter. Like, how did you not see that? So like, yeah. it's, it's, everything's possible. There was people who missed out on the turtle stuff when it was up for a week. There's probably people who missed out in April, and she was up for a month. So, like... She was up for the whole month of April. Hey, I just I, put I'm that just together. To, yeah, I made that one. I guess I do overlook on how busy people are. Yeah. You know, so that's fair. Or just how hours. not connected people are. Like, there are people out there yeah. who don't spend their entire day on their phone, like some of us. That's true. Um, so, <laughs> I like the look of depression on your face. <laughs> <laughs> uh... <laughs> Let's, let's wipe out that uh, depression, though, and move forward with Hasbro, who had a Marvel Legends live stream revealing and putting it pruders for the new retro carded Spider-Man 2020, or not 2029, 2099 shipping in October and a new wave of Age of Apocalypse X-Men figures, which includes Magneto, Iceman, where I lost my place. Oh no, Cyclops. Then we've got Legion, Rogue, Shadowcat, Sabretooth, and the build a figure Colossus. As of right now, these are available for pre order for $22.99 each. Link for pre order will be in the description below. Uh, and also they are I already said they were shipping I believe it was October for Spider-Man and September for the Age of Apocalypse wave so I'm kind of the the, the Build-A-Figures Colossus has me just mesmerized like this thing just looks so fucking cool like (laughs) he he looks like he watched too much of the next mutation and (laughs) and decided (laughs) to go fight crime (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> it is it's it's really awesome it was i, I don't i don't know if this was this comic bought done by jim lee um, it has the colossus has a very jim lee vibe is what i would say it might have been it was in that era uh-huh. so it's very possible um but i think the problem is that jim lee's vibe is very 90s and 80s so and these yeah, scream that, 90s and 80s so like it's <laughs> it kind of goes either <laughs> way uh, I mean, That's hell, you, you can look at fucking Cyclops and his just, yes. like, metal, <laughs> yeah. like, guitarist hair, like. <laughs> <laughs> but it's it's actually really cool. Like, I kind of find myself, like, digging all of these characters mm-hmm. in, a, in a weird way. Not of, like, oh, my God, I need to have them. But just, like, I gl- I'm so happy these exist. I might get them because they exist. <laughs> you know what yeah, I mean? Yeah, like. I, they they've already done one Age of Apocalypse wave um, before, mm-hmm. and I was just like, oh, it's cool. That was a great you know series and story and all that. But they didn't have anything that, like really like I was like mind blown by in the in that. Mm-hmm. Uh, just like some of these, Iceman looks fucking badass. Yeah. I mean, even yeah. though like they, they they did a great job of reusing the mold for um, Carnage's hands to give him like spiky claw hands, uh... which is really cool. And also, yeah. it's like the fact that like he, he doesn't have a mouth; it's just straight up, just like eyes and nose, and then just comes down like a ninja mask kind of thing. Yeah. Um, it, it, and even on like the he, normal hands, it looks like he has some spikes on his knuckles. So I'm like, it just looks oh, so cool. cool. And the translucent, like, can't that just 
that's automatically that's like pretty crazy. yeah <laughs> now these are all 3d renders but yeah i would imagine they're gonna still keep that overall like yeah, vibe, yeah. Right? i think the only things that we might not see work. is like stuff like on cyclops if you look at his left arm all the cracks and stuff and his gauntlets and his oh, armor yeah. are all like highlighted in black i almost guarantee that's just going to be mold you're not going to get any like wash on that yeah so uh that's but fair. but for the most part they look like they're they're pretty much pretty much going to be spot on to what you end up getting um just love the hair of all the characters like they all have an alternate long hair yeah i, I mean it, magneto and his braids coming down yeah. like so, so much so badass like i I'm just into... I, I, yeah i'm way too into these for like a a, a story that i just i i haven't read oh, in haven't easily read. 20 years <laughs> um i i am cool. i am a little like rogue's probably the only one that stands out to me as a little off and i think it's because she doesn't yeah well we'll go ahead i'm curious what you think why my, my two things are her weird sleeves and her boots okay because the sleeves like the the random dark green like poofy like shoulder and, and arm like upper arm and then all of a sudden it just goes down to the normal version of her tights it just it's just off-putting to me um yeah and then the boots, just because they're so straight, I'm like, what, she fucking went and got some galoshes to, to go fight Apocalypse? They do look a little bit like, like Mega Man, like yes. power boots or something like that. So I, I get that. I just kind of, like, I guess it's because I have the Rogue and it's on display right now from, like, the... Uh, the last, retro one, right? The retro, yeah, retro wave. These are exact hand, the exact same hands. Yeah. <laughs> and now it reminds me of when we discussed um how i didn't say this you did you did no you said that aquafina has man hands you said she has man but, hands. Uh, it's funny because they all the women like characters are always doing something like this or like like so dainty like but because <laughs> she's actually has fists it looks like manly but uh yeah that was the only thing i thought it ruined that now because every time i see every it, time you see the marvel, marvel legends, legends female hands you're like man hands yeah like dang it <laughs> but no i i think it looks cool i mean it kind of just makes me think that it's like a cool poofy jacket i don't know but this makes me actually want to go back and read the age of apocalypse like comic though i mean grant i, I i'm pretty sure that's that's pretty accurate to to her actual costume it oh, just yeah, still, yeah. it just still fucking looks weird Rubs either way. way like yeah. i i get like in the it's 90s that was like a, a thing was like you got to have a lot of different textures and colors it's got to fucking oh, yeah. pop off the page look at her hair so i get it uh <laughs> speaking of hair let's just take a moment to talk about legion <laughs> and, his, and his fucking <laughs> two foot tall flat top <laughs> he's got like the kid and play like house party straight flat top i, I like it yeah I, I can dig it though <laughs> i mean i love that he's also, in like the asylum like yes you know, clothes and barefoot it's just that hair it, <laughs> it looks ridiculous i hope the the actual character still has like that dinge to it though like i like the the dusty dusty look i hope that doesn't yeah me, don't me too that. but my hopes are very slim just because uh just because it's hasbro and they have a bad tendency of being like, look how fucking sexy this digital render is. And then you get it in hand, you're like, it still looks really good. But like, man, did you, you fucking, you, you fucking pulled the, the rug out from under me on that one, man. <laughs> uh, I mean, Grant, there are some other figures like the, um, Dr. Doom. They did a fucking incredible job on his armor and stuff with like, they have a wash over it. So like all the details like pop. Mm. So maybe they will go all out. I mean, they, they're increasing the price on these figures. So they better fucking, yeah, like yeah, do something a couple dollars yeah uh yeah uh and, but, oh good i know you oh i was gonna say but you know of course last but not least the spider-man 2099 oh i mean i wasn't gonna be my, my last thing i was gonna touch on but yeah we can talk about that uh um, what do i miss I, I was gonna talk a little bit about uh shadow cat and saber oh yeah i guess we did kind of gloss yeah over we were this. like fuck them we'll talk about everyone in the wave except for them um <laughs> i just want to talk about like shadow cat just because i again it's been a very long that's the wrong one very long time since i've read this but just mm. the fact that she's got like wolverine claws like wrist gauntlets is mm. is pretty fucking sweet yeah. um i i her costume's very just 
I mean, it's very right. 90s, but it's very odd. Like, I'm going to have sleeves, but I'm not going to have any shoulders to my, <laughs> my costume. This is the exact opposite of McFarlane. Yes. Uh, <laughs> McFarlane gave Wonder Woman dignity. Back in the 90s, they're like, no, give us your shoulders. <laughs> I mean, it makes sense that, obviously, it's a Build-A-Figure wave, so... Yeah, that you're gonna get those, you know, the build a figure with it. But she comes with like the biggest part of the build a figure yeah. because they're like, oh crap, there's not much in the box. <laughs> yeah, they did that with uh, the last Age of Apocalypse wave. Um, Jean Grey literally was the smallest thing in her box because they it was the Sugar Man, so he's essentially just a uh, big yeah. head, kind of like Modok, and it, his head and his ass were in the package, and they were the prominent thing. And you've got her like squished up against the side, going. Hi guys, I'm the figure you're buying. Um, yeah, I'm the, I was just gonna say, what what are you buying in this package? Yeah, it was it was it was it was interesting, um, but yeah, and then uh, of course we've got the uh, saber tooth looks really fucking cool. I like that costume on him, uh, and his like his weird like one armored hand, one not. But yeah, let's let's talk about Spider Man. He, he he looks really fucking cool. I will say, I wish they would have went a little a little bulkier. Like, I feel like if you're going to go for that, like, animated series yeah. look, they didn't, those characters weren't scrawny. That was the 90s, yeah. man. If you weren't on steroids in the 90s, you weren't on TV. <laughs> Ask Hulk Hogan. That's so true. <laughs> it's scary how true that is. Yeah. I agree. I, I think the main thing with these are just always, like, how cool the packaging is. Yeah. Like, you know, just hitting you right over the head with nostalgia. So I kind of could say it's okay for that but yeah i now that you point that out it, it is it would be nice to see him be a little bit more of a thick boy yeah um, maybe a little thicker and also maybe a lighter re- maybe a lighter blue just because yeah the, he doesn't pop off that like if you're keeping him on card he, he doesn't pop like kind of you kind of you have to look to see him in that like skyscraper like purple and, and dark blue background do you think um they're just straight up just reusing the well, I mean, I mean, it is 100 percent like reuse. Pretty much just reusing, the, but the same thing. So that's probably why. My problem is like his his like the red on his costume isn't going to be like raised up. It's just going to be painted on. So mm-hmm. they literally could have kept the head the same and used the new Spider-Man by it. They used for this series oh, that's a little bulkier, yeah. and just painted it like this. Like <laughs> it's that's just fair. missed opportunity. <laughs> that's true. But hell, I mean, it's still cool. Oh yeah, it is still <laughs> super, super fucking cool. So I'm not gonna, I'm not gonna knock it. Um, however, we're gonna move on to the final story, closing out the news. Now that they have started to catch up on releases, Moffex has broken their silence, announcing two new figures, and probably gonna keep that ball rolling for a while. And first, we are getting the 90s X-Men Jean Grey. Jean includes swappable heads, swappable hands, energy effects, and I believe a display stand. Um, But then for DC, we are getting the Dark Knight Returns Superman. And he also includes swappable heads, swappable hands, posable cape, and a kryptonite arrow. Both of these will be around $90 shipping March-ish of next year. The link will be in the description for below for when the pre-orders go up on Entertainment Earth. Oh, buddy, they announced these last Friday after the show went up, and I, I was, whew, I've been waiting for the Superman for a while. And <laughs> that's um, damn. Yeah, that's all I can say is damn, dude. <laughs> Yeah, they, they, they killed it. Um, Mezco left their collectors of blue balls for <laughs> almost a decade now uh, with the fact that they did the Mezco Dark Knight Returns Batman, never did Superman, never did Armored Batman or anything like that. And Moffex is like, hey, we're giving you the Armored Batman. Sounds like you need a Superman to go and whoop his ass. And <laughs> here he is, and he's a big beefy boy, and I love it. Yeah. Uh, I, I mean, I... Oh well, I'll let you talk on it more. No, you go ahead. Uh, I I just point out things that I, I really like about the the figure, and it just makes me look over a couple of my my I have my Moffex figures over here, and they do a fairly decent job with like facial, you know, facial and yeah. whatnot, and the bruised up. 
I guess it's like it's like the up, burned, like, yeah. The burned, yeah. That face skull looks so fucking cool, like so right? cool. Um, and it, it could be partly just the pose of him, like holding the arrow that way, just really, really, really gets me. It's it's really cool. Yeah, they, they, they did a, a stellar job. I think the only thing I don't like about him is if you look at the like picture I have of like the front and back of him. His chest, mm-hmm. like it's a separate piece, so you can kind of see the sculpting line under his pecs. Oh, oh, I see. Like, I hope oh. maybe the final product they'll have that, like, you know, figured out a little better because, yeah. it, like, it's not bad. It's not, it's not like a deal breaker, but it, it, it's noticeable, which is a little bothersome. Um, yeah. But then I mean, again, I... I mean, the Dark Knight Returns Batman, like he's beefy, but he ain't he ain't jacked. So like he doesn't have them big old packs where Superman's like, I'm I'm a fucking alien who lives forever. I'm I'm gonna be ripped for the rest of eternity. <laughs> now here's a random question: Does Superman work out? Um, he have to work out. I would assume, right? Technically, it, it's <laughs> it, it, in main continuity, no. He doesn't like. Right, there, right. There's never like a let's go see what Superman's doing, and he's working out um, in the gym or something. Um, there are variations where it's like, for instance, in the Flashpoint universe, um, because he never sees the sun because they keep uh, him in like a, a cell. He never develops, so he's super scrawny. Um, yeah. And even when he when he finally does hit the sun, like he gets all the powers, but he's still scrawny. So it implies that, oh, because he, you know, didn't work those muscles, they never grew kind of thing. Um, but, like, there's and there's some stuff, like, where he'll test his strength. And he does farm yeah, work, at, you know, back at, you know, the camp farm. farm so, like, he... That. I mean, although that is, yeah, that's true. He's got the, those farmer farmer muscles. Yeah, I, can't, I mean, can't someone's got to lift the that. tractor while, while Paul Kent fixes it. <laughs> That's true. That's true. Um, I mean, great. I feel like it's not that much resistance for Superman, but it's it's still. It's I'm still just thing. wondering, like, what is he lifting to get so jacked? Yeah. Or it, maybe steroids. I said true. it. Superman's on steroids. He's on the juice. You heard it here first. <laughs> uh, and of course, we we can't we can't skip over Gene. Oh, no, of course not. Like this the... is. Oh my God! These are so like, I, I, I love to like. That's that was gonna be the weirdest word I could use for this. I just like to admire, like, how cool these this this looks. Cause I okay. get with the Superman. Am I? I'm probably not gonna jump on board with the Superman, right? But I just love looking at it, and that's the same thing with the the Jean Grey. Like, this is, oh my god, it's so good, oh. and it it makes me wish that I would have some more Mafex. Cause Mafex does did. Oh wait, is that Rebel Tech that has the? Um, Rebel Tech's done too, but oh, um, Mafex is doing a gambit. Yeah. It just hasn't come out yet. Uh, okay, okay, that's why I'm thinking like, because mm-hmm. I thought, okay, yeah. He was so, a part of the I'm... mass announcements they did like six months ago, when yeah. they were just announcing things every every week, and then had like a list of like thirty things that just haven't come out. Yeah. Twenty twenty X. Yeah. We'll Whenever it comes out. Uh, but yeah, that just kind of makes me juiced up for this again. Like I just love, I don't know. I love it all. That's yeah. good. It, it looks really good. It's definitely got all that Jim Lee goodness. It, it, I love yeah. the the telekinesis like effects, like the bubbles, like energy bubbles on her hands. I think it's cool that the unmasked head even comes like with like the little like collar showing that she like pulled the the like, mask down. thing down. Which those masks yeah. never made sense to me on how the fuck they stay up in the first place. But <laughs> what do I know? Um, big hair. Big hair. That's yeah. what I don't know. <laughs> Clear, clearly that is the answer um, yeah but yeah they, it just it oh I was, it just gets me like kind of excited to see like some of the cool poses that you could do mm-hmm. with this especially i mean both of these are going to come with like the stand I think oh yeah just meant the same. like they always come with that so like i don't know it's just it's cool that's cool that's all i have to add to this conversation yeah she she, she looks fucking cool <laughs> i it almost makes me wish i would have got in on their like jim lee 90s figures early because yeah. i i can't imagine at this yeah, point i'm gonna just enough. i'm gonna justify being able to go back and buy the old ones that have already come out oh, no. um so i think i'll have to hope and pray that eventually mezco will give me a gene gray or better yet a dark phoenix because dark That's phoenix is, is is fucking badass yeah. 
um, or even just normal Phoenix. Either Phoenix is good. Um, but that that's that's gonna wrap it up for the week. That is it for this week's Man. Modern Toy Fair news. Make sure to follow us on Instagram and Twitter. Jamar, tell all of the lovely people where to find you. It's so weird doing it, you know, back to back because you know the other show but granted this didn't come out yet so i'm in the future guys i hope you appreciate that Ooh, gas prices went really low oh no i'm in the future because if you i don't know all right space travel is really hard my name is jamar underscore games you can find me on twitter but you can also hear my sweet sweet voice on your podcast platform of choice just by simply searching why are you a gamer what's that you ask it's a podcast about asking people why they play video games of course you want to know why you play video games and the only way to figure that out is to fi- figure out how other people or why other people play it. Um, it's fun. It's jokes. But it's also serious at points. And you find things out about people you don't know. Very true. It's pretty Jamar found out a lot of lot of uh, dark skeletons that I had in my closet. Oh, God. <laughs> you do not want to know why he's a video gamer. <laughs> uh, you probably should figure it out. Just listen to that episode and maybe you'll have a fun time. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe you'll be traumatized. Only one way to find out. <laughs> Uh, you can also catch me over at the Gimmick Minute Wrestling Podcast where Jason, Kevin, and myself shoot the shit on what's going on in the wrestling world that week. You can also support us here at Modern Toy Fair by clicking the link below for tpublic.com where I sell shirts for our logos on them and other designs I have cooked up in the good old Photoshop. As always, make sure to like and subscribe if you want to see more weekly news and weekly toy reviews. But not only that, leave us a comment below with what announcements you're excited for, or if we fucked something up, or if you just don't like us. It helps the algorithm. Just comment anyway. Uh, If you enjoy our faces, hit the little bell, get notified when our videos go up. There are weekly Modern Monday reviews where I review a new figure that came out. We have our Wednesday night weekly purchases live on Twitch every Wednesday with all three of us going over our weekly purchases for the for that week uh, occasionally on thursdays there will be a throwback thursday review where i review an older figure that has already been out for a while and of course on friday you will have your weekly modern toy fair news however if you don't enjoy staring at our beautiful faces we do have an audio only version of modern toy fair news available on spotify apple podcast google podcast spotify pocket cast spotify and other podcast apps you know and love so check that out and hopefully we'll see you next week same toy time same toy fair channel thank you for watching bye